Sometimes you can go into a tournament and you're not playing your best, but confidence will help you to, to win certain matches. Uh, Noura has always been like one of the best in the game uh, since I was a kid. Like she was winning tournaments, so uh, having the rivalry with Noura Shirvini is something big, and I'm proud of. I mean, you never know when it's gonna hit. Like your form is gonna hit. You just put on in the work, and you just hope for the best. <laughs> and then uh, that's what I did actually. Uh, the pyramids as well, it was very, very special to, uh, to win a big title in front of such a great venue. Yeah, I mean, uh, technically, I think that's the best year of uh, my career so far. Um, I've been playing well, but in terms of results as well, uh, I think uh, I've earned a couple of good titles. Uh, winning the World Tour Finals at the beginning of the season was, was something very huge for me. And then uh, uh, the pyramids as well, it was very, very special to, uh, to win a big title in front of such a great venue. Uh, winning the US Open uh, for the second time in a row was uh, big as well, even if we had this uh, interruption at the in the middle with the COVID and everything but I mean I've been very pleased with the season so far. So on a personal level I've always dreamt of playing in front of the pyramid so letting it alone like just winning the title and uh, yeah I, I mean the tournament in itself it was a big challenge for me. Um, I was a bit sick and uh, so I was really proud of the way I dealt with the conditions and how I managed to uh, to to play my best actually uh, uh, with the pressure with everything so uh, uh, yeah it's it's just a, a highlight in the career for sure. It took you know a, you know a couple of months to get going. Once you did, obviously the World Cup <laughs> finals. It was your first uh, first title win since the pandemic had begun. What what how important was that title for what was to follow for the rest of the year? I think uh, in terms of confidence, it gives you like winning tournaments. It gives you a uh, huge confidence. Uh, sometimes you can go into a tournament and you're not playing your best, but confidence will help you to to win certain matches. So. Uh, uh, I think winning tournaments and winning titles and knowing that you're capable of this. Uh, I think in the past maybe I was like capable of beating anyone any day, but uh, uh, to capitalize the, and win uh, big majors, uh, I would have done this maybe one or two times a year. But now I feel it's getting more consistent. So uh, I think that's that's the difference now. Yeah. And when we look at the next month, obviously the World Championship finally. In uh, Chicago, um, unfortunately, that one went the way of uh, Noel Shabini. What What were the next few days after that like? Do you, do you, you know, did you draw on kind of family and friends to help pick you up after that? Uh, I mean, the the World Championships in uh, Chicago was a good uh, tournament for me. Honestly, I've had good matches. The semi final against Camilla played. Uh, I think that was one of the best matches uh, of my career so far. Uh, and it was my best result. Like uh, I lost, I think, three semi-final uh, of World Championships, and that was my, the, the first time for me to reach the final. Uh, definitely, uh, a lot of nerves going on uh, going into the the final match. Uh, Shervini had more experience than me, uh, winning five uh, World Championship titles. Uh, that was my first occasion to be uh, playing in this big stage, uh, a new experience. Um, yeah, I, I just felt uh, I had a lot of positives to take from this match. Uh, I felt like I backed myself up really well at the end of the match. Uh, and it helped me like improve in terms of... Uh, and I knew like some some stuff I was working on, it was working during the match. So I was just trying to build on, I think. And that's um, the main thing I was trying to do this season. Like uh, even if I'm going to lose a match, I just want to take the positives out and just work on it because it's just like a work on, in progress and uh, uh, I think it, it worked pretty well like uh, after the World Championship at the Bridge Open we had the tighter match and then uh, at the Pyramids uh, we had another tough match so uh, I'm just happy with the way I'm, I'm looking into stuff and trying to prove each tournament. And obviously, you know, you mentioned the Pyramids one that came after the, the British Open in France. I think. What, what in particular was it that you kind of learned from those two defeats to Shabini that allowed you to kind of turn the tide of the Pyramids? I'm not going to relieve it, <laughs> but I mean, uh, there are certain things I'm, I'm trying to work on with my coaches and uh, uh, 
uh, I think it's it's a bit obvious now. <laughs> now I'm trying to improve my my game a little bit and uh, trying to uh, to change some stuff. So uh, it's always good to see these improvements in your game, even if you're not gonna win the match. But it gives you confidence that you're on the right track. And I think that's the most important thing and the most satisfying thing for a player to feel like they're on the right track, even though sometimes it's not they're not gonna win the match every time. But being on the right track and knowing that you're doing the right thing is is something satisfying i mean you never know when it's gonna hit like your form is gonna hit you just put on in the work and you just hope for the best <laughs> and then uh, that's what i did actually i did, uh as i'm telling you I just um i i go into my training just trying to uh, work on stuff and uh, try to improve it's not a work that i've done like two or three months is back it has been like this since forever but i mean maybe the last year i would say or the since i came back from the pandemic actually um i had a was my coach definitely we had a new perspective we it was Omar. We, we we wanted to like add some new stuff to my game um uh, in terms of uh, physicality as well uh, the physical part helped me a bit like uh, uh, i was trying to get in a, in a better shape and uh, try to uh, to work on the the physical part because it's it's a huge advantage in squash when you, you you're fit and uh, you can move around the course fast so uh, uh, i knew that would help me as well so um i think now it's just the time to like see uh, the improvements and uh, and uh, and taste it, it tastes like the all the hard work that i did i think <laughs> 2022, obviously the battle between you and Normal mm. continue. It's one of the most enthralling uh, in the sport over the, you know, in modern times. Um, as someone who's part of that rival, how, how much are you enjoying the kind of the matches with her? Honestly, I'm very proud of it. Like uh, Nora has always been like one of the best in the game uh, since I was a kid. Like she was winning tournaments, so uh, having the rivalry with Nora Shirvini is something big, and I'm proud of. Uh, and uh, it gives me actually uh, more excitement and more uh, confidence that uh, uh, I'm having this rivalry with her. I mean, uh, it doesn't happen often in squash or in any sport. And uh, I mean, being part of such a rivalry is something I'm really happy with for sure.